mirror right there. There you oh. go. There oh, it's go. going off. What the hell? It says demon time on the wall. What? It's still following yeah. me. What was that? Yo, what's going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Rowan. We go on Epic Adventures every single week. If you've been following, we've been doing this haunted series for the past few weeks. I'm here with Angelo, Mo, but we have someone cooler than Mo. We got Crazy Chad. Wait, is it good? Crazy Chad. <laughs> Chad is my real name. Okay. Chiz is like a nickname. Chiz. Is there a meaning behind it? Chizza. Um, Chizza? I when I was growing up, I was a huge fan of hip hop. Okay. So I always liked Wu Tang. So oh, because okay. they have the Rizza and the Jizza, one of my buddies said, "Yo, you should just call yourself the Chizza." The Chizza. Like, All the right. Chizza. And it just stuck forever. All right. So yeah. <laughs> Comment down below if you're a Wu Tang Clan fan. This place that we're gonna be exploring today is called the Mansfield Training School. It's known to be haunted, and this place was specifically for children. Now here's a brief summary about the place. This hospital was opened in Lakeville in 1860 as the Connecticut School for Imbeciles, but the name was changed to the Connecticut Training School for the Feeble-Minded in 1915. Two years later, it merged with the Connecticut Colony for Epileptics. When it opened in 1917, the merged institution had 402 students in residence. By 1932, the resident population had grown to over a thousand. During the Depression and World War II, demand for services increased, and it resulted in both overcrowding and long waiting lists for the new enrollments. Staffing levels increased in the 1960s as philosophies on treatment of mental retardation changed and there were over 1,500 residents and 875 full-time staff as of 1969. During the 1970s and 1980s, many residents were relocated from dormitories to on-campus cottages or to group homes located around the state. By 1976, the resident population had dropped to less than 1,000 and by 1991, there was only less than 200 people remain as residents. In 1993, after a lot of lawsuits concerning the condition of the hospital, Mansfield Training School was closed and its patients sent to outpatient facilities and other institutions. After the closure, some dilapidated buildings were demolished. So yeah, that's just a brief summary of the place. Um, before the adventure starts, smash the like button. We're going to be doing a lot of paranormal investigation and we're just going to see what's around here. This is my first time exploring this place too, so I'm quite excited. So yeah. Smash the thumbs up button. <laughs> What's this <laughs> doing in here? It's been chilling. But you know what that means? That's like a sign for spirits. Could be. Yeah. It literally is. It's a white butterfly. Why is, why is, why is it all around me? <laughs> it probably likes my light. But... Probably. Yo, it's on me. Oh, look at that. It landed on you. It's hanging out. It likes you. <laughs> I thought it was a butterfly, but so it's actually a moth. Dude, it's like a pretty white one, too. Yeah, look at that. What's up, little guy? <laughs> Are you a spirit in here? He very well could be. I actually have a very interesting story about white butterflies. Dude, right? It's supposed to be white butterflies yeah, that are like spirits. It's like a spiritual thing, too. <laughs> I'm gonna have this little guy follow me around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we entered this building. I'm not really sure yet what it could have been. But so far, it's pretty cool. You have this room over here with some stuff in it. Definitely kid things that belong to the kids. And you know this place was for children because of the size. Look at that tiny, there's a tiny chair and there's a tiny wheelchair looking thing. So weird to see, I'm used to like adult sized objects in the band asylums. Like we even got like a, like a baby seat over there. Alright, the butterfly. Come on, get back. Alright, I don't know if that butterfly is still following me or it's on me. Is it on my hair? I could, I thought I felt something on my hair. But anyway, we're, we're moving forward. I think that butterfly left. The butterfly left. Or is it on my hair? 
I think I feel something on my head. Maybe mm. something was like touching you? I don't know, I felt something like yeah? touching me in my, like my head. Huh. Whoa, Sweet. actually, oh, there it is. Look what the that. hell? There it is. It's still following yeah, me. Yeah, it's back. It wants to stay with you. Dude, that's pretty cool. Where did it land? Hope that butterfly will be okay if it's not following me. That's really cool. I think that butterfly left. The butterfly left. Where is that on my hair? I think I feel something on my head. Uh, I saw something flying on your head, but it's not the white butterfly. <laughs> it's not the white butterfly? No. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Maybe hmm. something was like touching you? I don't know. I felt something like yeah? touching me in my, like my head. Huh. Whoa, Sweet. actually. Oh, there it is. Look what the that. hell? There it is. It's still following yeah, me. Yeah, it's back. It wants to stay with you. Dude, that's pretty cool. Where did it land? Dude, it just disappeared. Where is it? it? It's on my hair. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see it. No, it Yo, literally just disappeared. What the hell? <laughs> did it like fall in the back of your light or something? No. You see? There's nothing. No, there's nothing there. Guys, this butterfly just disappeared. <laughs> it literally just disappeared. Did you see that? Where is it? Is it really? No idea. Yeah, it's nowhere. It, it literally, like it went into their. Like, I had this fully recorded weird. too. Yeah, you I was guys, too. there was no cuts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that was strange. Okay. okay. They like you. Yeah. Apparently. I don't know where that butterfly went. Like, it, like, it, almost as if it went inside me, because like it just suddenly disappeared. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, so I guess that's some paranormal activity going on here. Possibly. I mean, if it was in this room, it would still be attracted to our lights, but now it's completely gone. And it's and it's interesting, too, because it wouldn't leave your light to come to any of us yeah. either. It would just stay around you. I mean, I was walking for a good five minutes. It was, like, it like be, on it my shirt. It could be one of the patients, maybe. Is, it could be. It's trying to follow hmm. you. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's a fun of exploration. We just got to see what we can find and kind of... And that will kind of give us a hint of what this building could have been used for. Creepy looking graffiti right there. Huh. Wonder what this room could have been. My camera battery is 1% and I put a full battery at 100%. When really? We've gone in here. Yeah. Dude, we've barely been in here for like 10 minutes. We've only been, yeah, we've only been here yeah. for 10 to 15 minutes. Not From 100% to 1%. I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, look. Oh, now it's completely dead. Oh. I was like at 0%. I gotta change it now. Oh, shit. I'm mad. It's not to do with that butterfly. Look at mine. Mine's oh. already at half. That was a full battery. Hmm. Yeah. What's yours at? Uh, mine's full still. Full still? Okay. I'm telling you, whatever that little thing but that was like, is like going in and out of focus floating now. around you. Right. It didn't feel evil though. No, it felt no. like a good spirit. Yeah, it was probably like a kid or something. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. But huh. I swear I saw it like go to your camera. So maybe it like sucked the power out of your That's camera sad. or something. That's pretty cool. Actually, 100%, I think it was a spirit. Like I had this weird feeling like this was like a good spirit just following me around. And it felt very innocent too. And I think Chad has a REM pod. Wait, so Chad, what is that you got on your hand too? Uh, this is the Obulus 5. So basically it, it reads your surroundings. Okay. And then when you start asking questions. Place, middle. Middle. Glass. Place, middle, glass? Hmm. We're kind of standing in the middle. Yeah. Wait, there's glass. We're right in the middle. Yeah. We're in a place. Yes. So basically it reads the surroundings and, and it just chooses words from a word database that's inside of it. Enter. Enter. Yes, we did enter. We did enter. Yeah. It's pretty accurate so far. <laughs> wow. So far. Sometimes it does nothing, but a lot yeah, of times if it, it says it butterfly, off. I'll freak yeah. out. It can might. You, can you say butterfly? <laughs> Near it right now. There you oh, go. There oh, it's go. going off. What the hell? So yeah, my name is Steve. We got Angelo and Chad. We're just here exploring the place. Are you a spirit here? 
Animal? You like animals? Possibly. Okay, possibly. You like animals? Go near there again? What kind of animals do you like? I love animals too. I like dogs and cats. What do you like? Oh, it's going off. Hello. Oh, nice. It's cool that you like that. Can you tell me on the Oblis device how old you are or what your name is? Give us a number of how old you were or how old you are. Are you still in this room? Little children. You hear something? I did hear something. Hold on. Let's stay quiet. Axe. Axe. Huge. Oh. Huge axe? <laughs> that doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That signal sounds a lot stronger now. It kind of sounds yeah, it's like red yeah, before it's, it's on getting, yellow. It's getting stronger. Do you not like us in here? I think they're kids, so they're just playing around. Yeah, probably. They've probably never seen one of those. Yeah. Can we, you didn't, like, we didn't break that out last time. Do you want to play Marco Polo? Do you like that game? I swear I heard a voice before. I heard, I heard some heard, slight... I, I don't like know if it was a voice, but I heard something. I heard like a, like a kid moaning. Oh man, I'm getting goosebumps. Are you? Yeah, I'm getting like... I don't know. But yeah, look, look. The hair on my skin is like standing up. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling <laughs> something. I usually means something's yeah. around. 100%. Hmm? Team. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're, we're a team. team. Yeah, we're a team. You're making sense. We're a squad. Yeah. We're investigating. We're trying to... Uh, just came to say hello. Can we you wanted to see you. Can you show us around this building? We want to explore. How about you make a sound somewhere so we know where you are? Yeah, make a sound and we'll follow it. Maybe that's what they Maybe. drank. Do you like milk? I like Wait, milk. Where would milk be in here? It'd be in the cafeteria. Yeah. Is there a cafeteria in here? Yeah, so. My battery's dying now already. I almost wonder was it that first room? Water. Water? Radio. Radio? Radio? Whoa, it's going crazy. Yeah. It does that. What's it saying now? Radio? Okay, we're gonna start moving. All right. Um, I think we did the whole first floor. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go upstairs. Yeah. Save the creepy basement for last, as always. <laughs> so. Did we explore here though? Uh, what's in there? I don't know. What is this thing? Looks like a drill press. Yeah, right. I think it says ISO. So maybe it could be like a camera. These weird little fountains all over the place. It did say water. It did say water. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it wants us to go down here? There was a um there's another one of these in that room back there. Which room? Uh all the way in the back. Okay. Oh, whoa. It's like a Oh, there's a tub. Yeah, well, okay, so did you want to show us this room? We found the radio. Yeah, how creepy is that? Maybe in the next room that wants us to go will have boots in it. Oh, kite. Kite. Look out for a kite. Okay. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a tiny wheelchair, huh? Actually, no, it's not a wheelchair, is it? It's like a toilet seat. A, like a wheelchair. Slash Some toilet sort seat. of. All right, we came in where you wanted us to come. Several present. Several present. Printed. Derek. Halo. Halo? Halo? You, you play Halo? I don't think they had that back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave this room. Yeah, come, come put that in this room. I don't know if you've seen this yet. Oh, whoa, this is cool. So first it said medicine, yeah. and then it said doctor and lady. 
Well, Faye? Is Faye the nurse? Or is Faye. Is Faye your name? Well, dude, this room looks exactly like it was for a nurse. Did the, the doctor and the nurse murder you? Did they give you bad medicine? Finger within? Finger within? Finger within? Drunk. Did they molest the kid? What the hell, dude? We know terrible stuff happened in here. Dude, it was being just... reported. That's weird. Like, those are very Fish. odd answers. Like, Divide. spoon? They would have used, like, a spoon to give them medicine, right? Yeah. I would imagine so. Yeah. But it's super accurate with, like, the whole, um, other stuff it said, too. Yeah. Like, with the dark history, what happened here to the children. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? 100%. It's like it's telling us, like, what happened to the... To him or her. That's kind of how this works in a sense. It almost does like kind of tell you a story the way you put it together. Yeah. And. Are you in this room? Can you tell us what happened in this room? Check out the equipment guys, I guess this room needs to be some sort of like nursing room. Maybe they did stuff here to the patients at one point. So we kind of all split up. Kind of want to get some alone time too while exploring. Maybe that will bring more activity, you know? So far upstairs on the second floor, there are completely empty, gutted rooms. So all the time, pentagrams are just made by like teenagers trying to like scare people around. But who knows, maybe they do open portals by accident because they don't know what they're doing. Little teeny one. <laughs> Sometimes they can't even paint the pentagram right. <laughs> Actually, that, yeah, that looks pretty childish. I don't think that's real. Yeah. It's really like a gym bike here. What's that? Please tear legs? <laughs> like, that's wild, right? Yeah. I don't know what they... Let's not tear our legs, please. No, <laughs> we're not going to do that. <laughs> not down for I'm sorry if that happened to you. Yeah. I don't want to look like that. Right, let's go see what's in the uh, basement area. So we weren't even getting a lot of activity upstairs. It's mainly the bottom floors, so we're gonna head down towards the basement area. Oh, and this is the room where you said you saw something, right? Like something I did, glowing? I did see something yeah, glowing. Yeah, you saw something glowing, and every time we come towards this room, it says things like homicide, murder. Yes, yeah, it's a lot of dark things Bro, every time we come to this room. Something very bad happened in this room. Should we stay here? Let's let's ask questions from here. Lights out. Lights out. Because maybe you see the glowing thing again. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah true. You know what? I think I'm also gonna leave my night vision camera in this one room mm, and have it recording. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if we uh, capture any movement. Because I could have sworn I heard something. Yeah. So we're also gonna leave the REM pod in here too, and I'm gonna leave my night vision camera here. See if we can capture anything. But we're gonna be heading down to the basement. And if this thing rings while we're down there, you know something's up. Well, I'm gonna leave my night vision camera here. All right, I got the night vision on. It's ready to go, it's recording. And I'm pointing at the same spot where I saw the orb. Also gonna make sure I got the, the REM pod in there too. All right, let's head down. Heading down now. So we just got to the basement floor. I'm really excited to see if my night vision or the REM pod. I'm really excited to see if my night vision camera gets anything. This was the basement floor. Looks like it was, was 
just a bookshelf? Oh, f Good thing I have waterproof shoes. I guess this was some sort of... This doesn't look like it was meant for books. Looks like it was meant for shoes, but it's way too tall. Like how would the kids even reach all the way up there? Found a bicycle tire. I think it belonged to that bike upstairs on the third floor. Just found another exit in case we need it. So we're kindly trying to find the bowling alley. Apparently it's in one of these buildings in the basement floor. This building doesn't seem promising, but we'll keep searching. It's like the same layout as the other one. We got a really destroyed piano. Water jugs. This is pretty cool. I hardly noticed it, but this is uh, a board. And on this board are like pieces of artwork that were made by the kids. They're still on here after so many years. This is strange. Why well, there's a bunch of socks here? Next to it is a bathroom. It's a shared one. Oh, what the? Why is that thing moving? It's just really creepy with the three chairs just here. Yo, did you go to the bathroom? The bathroom? Yeah. Did the you bathroom? see that thing like hanging on the ceiling? No, what thing? I don't know, but it was like moving around. Oh, really? Yeah. What thing was it? I'll show you. It's kind of weird. There's like three chairs there too. This thing right here. To be honest with you, I think Chad hit it. You think Chad hit it? Yeah. Oh. Sure he came in here, he hit it. <sighs> that, one's, that one's debunked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. So that's the bunked. So I just found this room over here. There's a tunnel that leads underground. I'm not sure if I want to go through that. It looks like it's a dead end. Strange place though. There's another tunnel in there too. Oh, there's another like hole here too. Seems like this floor has the most activity in the building. The red pod is just chilling. Hasn't made a noise since we've been down there. I'll check the camera footage later. Stop recording this. We're gonna head to the next building. Entering the next building. This building, uh, from the outside, it was massive, way bigger than the last building we previously explored. So this might be a long one. Oh my God, this is nasty. This is all feces that we're stepping on right now. The whole floor is just covered with it. Oh, what the hell? That really creeps me out. Is there something upstairs that did this? Yo, we set up a little ritual. <laughs> yeah, did they do seances here? They could have. 
that are now reported. It says demon time on the wall. <laughs> yeah, it does. This looks like a legitimate pentagram than the first one we saw in the other building. Yeah, plus they do check out the chairs, bro. Bro, what the hell? <laughs> they were literally sitting here. Let's uh, do some investigation in this room. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Yeah. Welcome, Angelo. <laughs> We've been waiting for Welcome you. Welcome to the ritual. Thank you. Oh, right Take, a the <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. Okay, Steve. Thank you very much. My name's not Steve. What's your name? Joseph. Um, Joseph? Joseph. Yes. Stare. 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 Maybe make a knock. Move something. Shop. Money. Money? Possibly. You want money? <laughs> we'll give you money. Wait, wait. You, you, gotta, it. you gotta do something first. Hold on. Yeah, you gotta do something. <laughs> Joke. Joke. See? You don't, you don't want money? <coughs> they were joking. Were you joking or did you like the joke? Hold on. Maybe this will give more activity. I'll put a $20 bill for you. Here, take the money. Nobody that wants to communicate with us? Come on, tell us. Are you here? Any spirits here with us right now? Anyone? You want to speak? Mark? Mark? Supply. Is your name Mark? What was that? What was that? That's so weird. We just heard like a knock on the window right next to us. I know you guys didn't see that, but I'm gonna start facing the camera right there. Outside the symbol. You really didn't like the money? Uh -huh. There's five empty seats here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is there? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's the camera in my bag is taking up the other one. Are you guys sitting? Can you touch the red box, please? Just pulling out the spirit box. I don't know what this is for, it's basically to um, just communicate again with spirits using radio frequencies. mission right now is just to find the bowling alley it has to be in this building so let's start exploring the other floors Damn. all these rooms have like these bones of mouses and birds These floors are safe with all this water. Wow, this is so overgrown. I wonder what kind of animals are in here. This entire floor is completely flooded. Just anything here. Look at this. 
this. So it's a little kid push the door. I mean, if it was an adult, their handprints would be like probably up here. Not three or four feet down, you know what I mean? So that's a little bit strange. I'll need to a bathroom. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. Can you check my hood? I felt something drop on my hood. I don't know if it's a bug. It was like water. There's no bugs. Is water? water drop? Oh my Is god. Up there? Dude, that was fucking. <laughs> that was a bug. That was crazy. I hope it didn't go in my shirt. Yeah, god damn. What about here? Oh my god. There's nothing there, bro. Unless something tapped me. Yeah, I felt something like touch my neck right here. Really? Literally, yeah. I thought like something fell, so I, I just like making sure like a bug didn't fall on my shirt or maybe that moth is still there. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing. That was strange. Huh. All right, guess I'm gonna go downstairs. Huh? I'm gonna go downstairs. Oh man, this looks creepy. Oh, creepy it's really destroyed. I think it's from all the water leaking from upstairs. Yo, there's boots. Oh yeah. That was a keyword from before. Boots? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, there's bowling pins. <laughs> there's definitely bowling pins right there's here. There's bowling pins right there. You know what that means. <laughs> We're next to the bowling alley. Is this the fake bowling alley? They fooled us? No, this must be the storage for it. For the pins. Therapy tub, I think. Yeah, I saw that. It's a hydrotherapy tub, right? It's not just a regular tub. Man, I'm gonna wear my hoodie. It's like dripping water down here. Kind of looked like a homeless person stayed in this room. A mattress, some boots, some, cl some clothing. This room is all the way down the hallway. Check out the door. There's some more clothes in this room. Probably be the last building, and it's the building that has the most stuff inside it. So, yeah, we save the best for last. Not a lot of crazy things in the first room. Kind of looks like this place was a locker room, though. I can see the lockers over there. This is also like the most destroyed building. This is the cafeteria that we're in. What do you 
fine. It's like a little chute that goes down into the basement or something. Uh, they drop something down there, laundry or something, right. I don't know. Yeah. There's a bunch of documents and paperwork. This is so mushy. with a strap on it. I've never seen anything like this. There's straps on it. Is anyone here? We're just exploring. Is there any spirits here? Seeing red. Oh. Okay. Let's, I say we stick around here for a while. Yeah. Is there anyone here? Can you, you want to sit in that chair? Here you go, Angelo. Wow. So down this hallway is some stuff in the rooms, like radios. Beside it has even more things. All right, we got some newspaper here. Dating back to 1998. There's even more down here. Some of the files and documents here still. Not a whole lot though. I bet a lot of them got stolen. Collection of old publications. Disaster handbook. Veterinary science. Hmm. In this room. Got some photos. Some of the staff members or teachers. Oh, he even has their name still. Responsibilities expanded food and nutrition. This guy was doing Bridgeport Urban Gardening Program. This lady was responsible for human development, parent education, foods and nutrition. Just made it back with the gang. We're exploring this last corner of the building. Oh, there's still a piano here. Wonder if it still works. Still works pretty good, eh? Yeah. I always imagine if like it plays by itself. Oh man, that would be crazy. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, I think once, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it wasn't like perfect because the piano was pretty broken, but we heard it was something. playing by itself? We heard something like hit the strings. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a random abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. Nothing else happened, just uh -huh. that. That was the only thing. Holy shit. But, uh, it has happened before. Some of those slides, those look like they haven't been in use. These ones might have been in use. Oh, this door is creepy. Right? <laughs> Old painting. Yeah, why do they look so angry? Oh, son of a bitch, my battery's about to die. 
You guys ready to go up? Yeah. Let's do it. Right. Let's go. Let's keep going. What was that? Bro, was that a piano? Yeah, that's only Dude, one of the keys. The keys just played on the piano. What the fuck? We were all far away from that. Bro. Can you do that again? Do it one more time for us. Ready? Do it again, and we'll stay. <laughs> that was so freaking creepy, dude. No, it's nuts. I can't believe you caught that. We were just oh, sitting here playing the piano as soon as we started to walk away. Bro. Going crazy. It's going like yellow. Went to red for like a second. Oh, okay. Right? Um, okay. You want to play it like one more time for us? No, it's just spiking in your hand. Yeah, I know. I see that. Are you trying to follow me or something? Man, that was nuts. Huh. I think, okay. we, I think we should keep moving though. Yeah, let's keep going. All right, if you don't press it one more time, we're going to go. Okay, bye. All right, bye. <sighs> wow. That was, that was good. That was a good <laughs> catch right there. I'm not expecting yeah. that to happen. <laughs> wow. That's, that's totally unexplainable. I don't know. We were all over here. All right, well, just play the piano again. We'll come back up. I say we go downstairs. I mean, Shrek's down there. Come on, let's see Shrek. We're going to play Shrek. Of course, a pentagon. Oh, what the hell? Guys, you can... <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, you yeah. gotta go down you can there. You get around it though. No, you gotta go down. That's where the good stuff is. What's down there? Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> the <telephone> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, we have telephone oh man. Right here. That's crazy. An old tape man. Dude, this can easily be like a trap. Oh yeah. You see what we got? The death trap. <laughs> That's right so here. dangerous. The death trap in the floor right here. Imagine if you didn't have a light. You'd be falling straight down. What is that sound? What sound? What sound? That sound? Something? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? Isn't that cool? It's a little bit freaky looking. Yeah. They probably have like a play or something. I kind of feel like a lot of the stuff down here were for plays that would th that the kids would perform on stage. This chair was like definitely a prop. Rooms must have been used for like storage. But there's a lot of furniture in them. Alright, I feel like this room must have been for x rays. You have these little rooms that would kind of block you from radi radiation. But they must have taken out the machines. Paperwork. 
take a closer look at them. Examination requests. I guess these were injuries of some of the the kids that went here. <laughs> this one says kicked by client. Something knee. They examine his knee. Date 1783. Wow. Wait, no way. Maybe that's 1983? <laughs> Guess it was some sort of waiting room. Why else would they have a couch? So Angel just caught something. Yeah, it's really weird. Watch right in the middle of the door. Probably stored oxygen here. Did you see it? Mm. Came this way. Oh yeah. God, what was, what that? was that? It did seem like a bat. It uh, looked like a bat, like right? Or. No, but it would have. Yeah, I would have seen. I, it, <laughs> I thought it like ran right into me or something. That's why I was like looking around. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> freaking shadow ball. Yeah, that was weird. out of nowhere at you. All right, cool. Wasn't there more to this basement? Oh yeah, there's a whole other hallway down oh, there. Oh, is there? That's OG <laughs> demon. So we just found this tunnel. And it looks like it's leading us somewhere. I'm not getting good vibes at all down here. It's like a shelter of some sort. Damn. What did they do in these rooms? I guess it was just for the water pipes. So this is really strange, but at the end of the tunnel is this wall that seems like someone took a sledgehammer to it. That is so strange. It leads more down too. And there's a chair. And someone's drink is still there too. Someone's bag. That's as if someone went inside and never came out. But we're super tired. I'm about to end it soon, guys. It's currently 3.34 a.m. See what I mean? 3.34. We're all tired and sleepy. But I think maybe next time, this video gets over maybe 10,000 views we'll make a part two and explore those tunnels all right uh, I don't even know what this says guys but you can pause the screen if you want to read it or try to at least was it a poem someone spent a lot of time here writing this I guess the rooms down here are kind of like dentist rooms tell by the equipment. Right, I'm exploring the basement alone. I think the other guys are upstairs. It's super creepy to be here by myself. I mean, what's that? At first I thought it was like a coffin on a wheelchair. Kind of looks like it. Like a little coffin for a little kid. Leave a comment down below if you know what that is. Alright, I'm gonna head up. Tunnel kind of led all the way here. Someone made planks. Can't really make 
out what part of the building this would be used for. Just was like storage rooms. Oh, was about a little gym down here. So this area must have been something for the gym. So this area must have been for like fitness. Maybe they have a gym class. I'm seeing a bottle of whey protein. Oh, we just found a bunch of other crazy chairs in here too. Man, these must have been torture for the kids. Look at this thing, it's made of wood. How's this even comfy? All right guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Hope you guys really did enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. If you heard any whispers or any ghost activity that was unnoticed, leave it down and timestamp it. It was a pleasure exploring this place with Angelo and Chad. Yeah, yeah. Definitely check out their channels. Their links will be down in the description. If you enjoy haunted videos like this or exploration videos, they do the same thing. Um, yeah, I'm super tired. I think it's like 4 a.m. I probably look like a mess right now too. Also, don't forget to cop the merch, Freedom X Wander, shop the clothing line. Also guys, don't forget to shop at freedomxmore.com, cop the hoodies, experiences over everything. You already know, we still have a few left, so they're all sold out. Like I said before too, if this video gets over 10,000 thumbs up, let's make a part two and let's explore and check out those tunnels. Hopefully this place will be up by then. So make sure to hit this thumbs up button. But yeah, until next time guys, don't forget to live a life of freedom and wonder, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.